what's up everybody it's gristle back again for another minute and 30 with with gristle i don't know why i call it that because i can't keep it under a minute and 30 seconds but whatever i like the name um today uh i had people asking me to get more in depth about how i got into k-pop and how a person like me you know i don't fit the mold i'm older um i got tattoos i got i, got, I mean i got time bomb on my knuckles i wear my heart on my sleeve I, I got tons of tattoos. Well, the tattoos come from, I used to work at a tattoo shop. I used to do tattoos, so while I was there, uh, I got a ton of tattoos. Most of them aren't visible, but towards the past few years, I was just like, screw it. I'm going to start doing visible ones. That's why I, <laughs> I went all out with the first ones. That's really fun at the airport, let me tell you that. Um, anyways, <clears throat> how I got into K-pop and why I did. Um... Like you all know, I, I told you I got into Gangnam Style, but how I got, how I got into Gangnam Style was pretty funny. I was at a I was at a party. I was drinking a little too much, and uh, my buddies told me, "Oh, have you seen that new video by that Korean guy?" And I was like, "Why would I watch Korean videos?" And uh, they were like, "No, you gotta check it out. It's hilarious." And I started watching it, and I was like. How? I don't even know what he's saying, but I was laughing my ass off, and like I was laughing so hard that night <clears throat> that I watched it like twice that night, and then I came home that next day, and I was hungover, and I was sitting at my sitting here at my place, and uh, I was I didn't want to go outside or anything, but so I just sat behind my computer all day, and I started watching I started watching Gangnam Style, you know over and over and over just like this is insane how do i like this why am i liking this video so much i have no idea what he's saying <clears throat> and then i um i ran across the uh, i'm trying to think i'm trying to remember who the first reaction i ran across it was over on the side screen um i believe it was uh k spazzing or maybe it was freshly flipped i can't remember which one but one of those was the first ones I watched. And then when I watched one of theirs, I seen another one. I was like, what are these reaction videos? And over the next couple days, I was watching reaction videos, like nonstop on there. And I was like, I was getting addicted to them, you know what I'm saying? And then as I started watching the reaction videos, I started seeing they were doing reaction videos to other songs. So I started watching those too. And then I was like, you know, after watching a you know reaction video for the same song again, I was just like, I was starting to dig the song, whatever song it was. I can't remember the second song I heard, but I started doing more and more. So I was doing nothing but reaction videos. I mean, I was kind of checking out a video here and there, but I was learning really early on through the K-pop community through reaction videos. You know, I was like, wow, this K-pop community thing their music isn't that bad you know what i'm saying and so i started you know looking into it more um i never went in depth like i said my learning curve over the past month from doing these reaction videos has been so high like i've i've learned and found more groups solo artists than ever because when i was doing it by myself you know um I generally was like following three people. I was following Big Bang, Two Anyone, and BAP, and I was watching all their reaction videos over and over. People doing those, and then watching all their videos and stuff. Um, those were like my main three bands that I heard, uh, honestly, and that's how it was since August of uh, last year when I think it was around August when Gangnam Style came out, or. I forget when, but it's been like that since then. And then um, <clears throat> I never did reaction earlier videos earlier on because uh, I never had the hardware and software to do it. And then I built a gaming computer. Um, I bought all the components. I put it all together. Built a monster gaming computer. And then I went and did the gaming. Um, and while I was doing the gaming, I was listening to my live stream or my. Um, my music streams uh i listen to a lot of uh soul fm uh the internet station uh because they played a lot of big bang to anyone you know the big bands and i i, I heard 
various other groups on there too, but I never got really into them. Sorry, I had to turn off my air conditioning. Um, but I never got into the, or I never listened to them enough. You know, I was always getting excited when I hear my big three bands. Um, but I was doing the gaming and stuff, and <clears throat> the only bad thing about the gaming live stream community was it's very toxic. You know, especially with the games I was playing, like League of, Le League of Legends, it's a very toxic community. Like, they're, they troll you easily. And that's what I welcome so much through this, is like, there's hardly any trolls in the K-pop community. Like, I, most of my, I'd say 97% of my comments are very positive, and it's insane. Like, but when I was gaming, you know, I was just like, ah, I did all this, I don't know if I like this, you know, I'm, I'm sick of getting trolled. You know, and that's partly because I'm not the greatest game player in the world, but whatever <laughs> um, but someone had mentioned one of the people who weren't trolls on my game channel was like oh you like this song too you should do a music vi uh, video reaction I was like oh you know I do I do watch those all the time I was like I don't know and then uh, like a week after that like Psy size uh, gentleman leaked the song leaked on the internet and I listened to it and I was like Oh, this is catchy. I put it on my MP3 player, and I was uh, rolling around listening to that like nonstop. And then the video come out, and right before I went to watch it, I was gonna watch it that night. But right, right before I went to watch it, I was like, maybe I should try a reaction video. I was like, if I'm gonna do a reaction video, why not do it to Sai? He's the one that got me into it, and uh, boom, I did one. I, would, I had no plans on doing tons of them like I've done or anything like that. I just did one. And the positive feedback I got from that one video, I'll, I go back now and watch the video and I, I was doing so much so much different then than I am now, but I had no plans of doing it anymore. But everyone was asking for more, for more, for more, and I did more. And uh, <clears throat> I've gotten addicted to it. I hardly even game anymore. <laughs> To be honest, like, I'm just trying to grow this channel now. You know, like, I do, I try to pump out two music video, uh, two reaction videos a day. You know, I try to. Some days I can't. You know, real life gets in the way sometimes, but, you know, and, and my job. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that's how I grew in K pop. And like I said, over the past month, I've grown so much all because of you guys you know telling me you know to check this group out or telling me to check her out or him out or or whatever and uh like i said i can't thank you guys enough you guys are teaching me a lot i may not get the names down of the groups and it may take me a really long time i'm not i'm gonna be honest because i am terrible with names just in life let alone trying to learn a bunch of korean names all at once so I apologize if it's going to take me a while to learn names, but I'll get it eventually. Probably, hopefully. So, but that's my story, how K-pop got into my life. And uh, I hope that's what you wanted. And let me know what you think of this show and in the comments. And also in the comments, tell me what else you'd like to know about me uh, for me to do my next show on. Alright guys, love you all. Peace.